Hey guys, this is Reggie, the Reginator. I wanted to talk to you guys about um, the new recent set of shootings. Well, we got new protests, new riots, new, new looting across the country. And the reason is because of these two recent police-involved incidents. And uh, in one of those incidents, someone died. A black man died. And it was in actual. I think it was in Minneapolis, actually. The same place where uh, they're doing the George Floyd trials, which is kind of crazy. Um, so there's a guy named Dante. And he wasn't your model c citizen. Um, he was not your model citizen. He had been arrested and been involved with uh, gang-affiliated um, things in the past. And uh, he got stopped by the cops because there was a warrant for his arrest. Well, when uh, he stood outside and they were going to arrest him, he uh, bucked the cops and jumped back in the car and um, tried to speed off. Well, in, a, in an attempt to stop the man from speeding off in the car, uh, the cops tried to wrestle him out of the car. And one of the cops, which was a female cop that's been in uniform for 20 years, 25 years, she tried to tase them and made a mistake of confusing the taser for a gun. Uh, so she pulls out the, the gun, thinking it's a taser, and yells, taser, 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 I'm about to shoot a taser, and he shoots the guy. And after, she, right after she shoots the guy, she's like, oh my gosh, it's actually a gun, like, it's a gun. I shot him. And if you watch the video, it, it, it's obviously, she mistook, it was real, she really did, it was accidental. She thought what she was shooting was a taser. How do you mistake a taser for a gun or a gun for a taser after being in the um, force for 25 years? That's a good question. I mean, by that time, you should know. You should know. But there are cases where this has happened, had happened before, where people, where cops have mistaken tasers uh, for guns. And I kind of understand the situation in which you're in a high tense combative situation. And I've been in plenty of those my whole life. Like, just, I've been in a lot of fights when I was younger. And when you're fighting, you just, you don't know what you're doing half the time. And to be honest, there really isn't any amount of training that can prepare you for a real life scenario fight. Like, even though I've been in tons of fights growing up, like, I still can't tell you what I'm capable of doing in a physical fight with somebody else because it's just blood rushing instincts at that moment and you just you just don't know it's hard to tell you can't get trained for that and i get it she's been in the office for 20 years but it doesn't matter how long you've been in when you're in a combat situation like it's a new situation every time and it's really hard to get trained for those so I believe she made an honest mistake. That police officer, Kimberly something, I forgot her last name, she really did make an honest mistake. But she was at fault. But it wasn't racism. It wasn't intentional. It was an honest mistake. She was an idiot. At that moment. And she made an idiot move. I mean, both of them are at fault. He was stupid for resisting arrest. If he would have complied... And because it's not like he's going to get away. He's, he's going to come after him. <laughs> if he would have complied and just been like, all right, I guess I got to go into jail. There's a warrant for my arrest. If he would have complied, he would still be alive. <laughs> but because he didn't apply, he forced a cop to make a stupid move, you know, to put in a situation where mistakes like that can happen. Because no human is perfect, especially in high, tense, stressful situations like that. You can't expect the cops not to be human. And humans are idiots. We make mistakes. Especially when we're under pressure. Because we're human. We're not robots. So, I want to charge the cop with murder. I mean, I think she should lose her job. But, 
and you know it's hard this is a t this is a tough situation it's it's hard to see what the appropriate punishment should be but it was two people who made really stupid moves and both of them in my opinion Dante and the cop are equally as fault equally in fault and uh yep that's all I got to say today subscribe to support I'll talk to you guys in the next one.